Hi, this is Tutor Nick P, and this is Idioms 553. The idiom today is to have bats in the belfry. Okay, somebody wants a screenshot, do it right now. Let's get right to it. You may also hear this phrase as to have bats in your belfry. Uh, if someone says that a person has bats in the belfry or your belfry, it means he or she acts crazy or very eccentric. Okay, let's continue. The origin of this phrase derived from the part of a church where the bells were stored. In the past, bats lived in that area of the church. When the bell was rung, they were disturbed and often flew around erratically or in a crazy, wild way. Remember, bats move around according to their sonar, so this really disturbed their sonar and really threw it off, so that's why they're acting so crazy. The belfry area represents a person's head. And the crazy movement of the bats is like the brain or what turns out to end up being their behavior. Uh, it's more likely to be used if someone is behaving in a nonsensical manner, such as running around aimlessly, talking to oneself, or imagining crazy things. Okay, let's continue. Uh, all right, we got four examples to show just how this is used. Here's the first one. That old man often walks around screaming and yelling at the air. So nobody's there. He's just screaming and yelling to no one. Uh, I think he must have some bats in the belfry. Okay. Number two. If he thinks he can climb that building like Spider-Man, he must have some bats in the belfry. Okay. Number three. Uh, if you keep repeating those crazy ideas to people, they will think that you have bats in the belfry. Okay, and number four. If you just keep dancing around to music in your head that no one else can hear in public, people will think that you have bats in the belfry. Okay, anyway, I hope you got it. I hope it was clear. I hope it was very informative. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.